Hello, uh, tacticians and strategists. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing hardball. A series of very nice battles is something we look back to and, well, we look forward to another fleet battle. Well, we are actually very strong here. Heimerich does have some advantages, however, there are a lot of fleets around. Apparently, he dodged two of them. And we are engaging this one here with a strength of 2000. Let us see what's going on there. And I think this is something where we can actually uh, do some offensive experiments, maybe. Yeah, and thanks to Unpack for all the info and uh, the analysis. And yeah, most likely we will face uh, three Nemesiah and one Talon. Let's see. We can certainly go offensive there. We are doing a triple... a triple burger formation. Like so. And I... I would vote for being extremely aggressive now. And our ranger, the Yerevan, will use torpedoes. Because I also want to see how it... Uh, how that will work out. Um with the Talon. So, and we are experienced, so that's that's something to know. 10% munition salvo size, so... That's a thing to consider when we analyze the performance of our ships, right? So, let's get started there. I mean, Heimeri is also one of our really good commanders, of course. And they come in pretty high. Go Ranger. Yes, sir. Gains height. The Nemo sign flies forward. We go like so, and I guess. Oh, I would rather go. Yeah, on the right flank, we'll have our frigates. Yeah, and I mean, of course, I'm, I know that there are different philosophies. Yes, sir. Launch all Vipers. Yes, thanks, Helena. There are different philosophies, of course. So I think I usually use the, the Ranger more like, like a heavier frigate. Yeah. Um, because she has some more armor. However, not on the sides, of course. Yeah. So actually, like here, our adamant, uh, they have 60 points left and right and on top 60 while the ranger only has 45 right right and left however she is actually tougher armored in, uh, on the top and on the front which would actually actually suggest a use as a frontal assaulter and that's of course the thing why she has these two heavy turrets in the front right like up there. Which of course are sitting here in the front in a way that we can't shoot upwards like that, but just like in an angle like so, I guess. Which is a design flaw, of course. So, ending the turn, everybody. Oh, that's dramatic music. So, Vipers. There you go. And now the Ranger goes in full attack mode. Gaining yes, more height and we are shooting our torpedoes right in the front. We are also focusing fire on the Talon. Shooting the torpedoes right there. 
Well, and now, of course, we do have the big problem, and that is one of the reasons why I prefer to usually just send the Corvette forward, um, because uh, we don't know where the enemy is shooting their missiles now, right? And uh, by basically, we have only one real chance to go defensive with the with the Vipers. Are you guys can actually go higher like so. I'm fairly certain that no one will be in range, but let's shoot at this guy. And we are shooting our missiles at the Nemesai. Or actually all at, at one, I guess. Focusing fire there. Adamant, oh, sorry, oh, ah yeah. There, going full attack. And the Manticore, yeah, I can also shoot missiles over there at this guy. They defend the Nemosine. These Vipers attack the radar. Squadron target is confirmed. And you three. Yeah, you also go for the radar. There you go. And actually, I want to go high like so, and then we can turn in and uh, use our flag cloud on the right side. Hostile unit identified. Oh yeah, those go. If the torpedoes. Ah, oh, the torpedoes are missing. Okay. Well. They dodged that one, or rather, our aiming was off. Didn't anticipate the flight, but well. Okay then. Yeah, we need to go in, of course. So actually, we are boosting forward. We need to gain something, and the next turn we can actually shoot them. So here, yes, sir. Focus fire. So they didn't shoot anything yet. Let's focus fire on this one now. Manticore. Um, flies around like so. And then shoots with the F turrets on this one. Because I guess that the Talon will use the broadsides on the Manticore. You guys. And like so this guy is really high now. Oh yeah, very good. We are actually shooting at the, Yeah, we are actually the frigates are shooting at that nemesis up there And I guess now that uh, the bottom is gone already and all the missiles are coming. We will see an explosion there very soon, okay, so All vipers have their orders in the turn Fighter squadron is taking fire. Missiles yep, incoming. Good. Okay, defensive vipers couldn't do much, of course. But you guys boost away now, which gives the vipers a little bit more time to work on the missiles. The reticon. Still shoots at that nemesis. All the adamants focus on this nemesis or so end. Well, I didn't want anybody to shoot at the Talon actually. So.
you guys attack the nemesis. Now the ranger goes full attack again and shoots two torpedo salvos. So say we all. Right at the Talon and presents broadside and shoots at them. Although, of course, like presenting our softer broadside is obviously not the smartest thing to do. Um, but we want to maximize our firepower and then we can just turn around and present the right side. So, yeah. You guys are still defending, right? So, in the turn. Uh, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Collision alert. So say we all. And actually, now you guys go low. Like so. Shooting there, shooting missiles at this guy. Oh, they are already. Ah, oh, we are inside the nebula, okay. Nemesai. Like, like so. Shooting at the nemesis. And the ranger. I mean, we have front armor 58 and 60, so actually, I feel. Let us, let's go defensive and then we are going to ram them. I want to try that. Yes, Commander. And we are probably missing them and that would be our low, our bottom with 44. Yeah. We are, we are, if we hit them, then most likely with the bottom. But let's try that. 44. Heimerich. Brace for impact, defensive, posture, all vipers, clear the area, go for the nemesis, Dreadus, doesn't show any other hostiles, the experiment is good to go, oh yeah good, the manticore is okay. Let's actually be defensive just in case some something finds us. There we go. Let's look at this. Yeah, collision, that's fine. Now they are they are darting away. Okay, well. The ranger is too clumsy. Yeah, well then, we're just shooting. You guys fly Understood. around like so. Everybody's shooting now. And the vipers. And go for them as well. And we we forget about the Nemo sign. They will not last long now anyway. Yeah. Ranger coming about. Explosion. Yeah. It's really hard to hit them. Um but yeah. Sometimes it works as a desperate measure. So let's have a replay. That was cool. Viper starting. Yep. First torpedo barrage. But that was more like the warning shot. There's Nebula in the background. Oh, that was a cool formation. Viper formation there. Good, we already stripped that nemesis with our artillery and then the missiles just exploded it. 
but I think the Vipers did an okay job there. That was nice. For uh, it was a bit sad that we didn't see the full torpedo barrage, but that was that's really cool. Like our triple, the triple burger broadside. And there, yep, Vipers coming for the channel. A very very cool perspective. Really nice. Oh yeah, their artillery barrage. Very nice indeed. Heimerich, well done. Although our offensive experiments basically all failed uh, because I wanted to uh, fire the torpedoes like right in the front of the tail and then have a look how far we go actually, how far we strip it. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's of course rather hard to, to hit them in the first place like that. Um, maybe we were still a little bit uh, too far away but we can't be too close as well because then they start to maneuver more around so but that was cool anyway and we saw some nice uh, viper perspectives uh, in the replay okay so yeah if you have any thoughts you wish to share on the tactics on the videos uh, or whatever is on your heart like on your mind please do share with the community and me i know that i'm not the only one who would appreciate that yeah let's continue next time thanks for watching and please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet so never ever miss an episode again so next time for a pretty tough cylon fleet over there and wilbert again with our strongest fleet i think right bye bye